So, after pondering the subject matter of this video quite a bit, I realized that there's really no right way to make a video of this caliber, so I, I just think it's best that I just may as well end my whole career right now. Because I was thinking about this and I realized that I haven't really seen very many people talk about this subject matter, but then I realized that of course I haven't because like like even admitting to it sounds sounds suspect as hell. And like like no one would want to. And no no man really can do this. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I don't know, someone has to. So it'll it'll be me. I'll do it. And considering the fact that most people don't even watch my videos anyway, I think I'll be rather safe. At least I hope so. So the other day I watched a video by Rowing Millennial. And it was about this young lady, I call her a lady, but she's closer to a child by the name of Danielle Cohn. Or is it Coin? Doesn't really matter. And the subject of the video was Romy Millennial showing us that she actually turned out to be a 13 year old girl. She had been lying on the internet, showing everyone that she was uh, 15, but uh, a huge amount of evidence coming from the child's father and Considering the fact that he was there at her conception, I imagine he, more than anyone, would know how old she is. Uh, ended up uploading lots of different evidence on Instagram and whatnot. And they're really trying, he's really trying his best, I guess, to try to get his daughter away from this particular lifestyle that she's living. Now, I know this sounds a little off to most people because I didn't bring up the fact that Daniel Cohn, whatever her name is, is an Instagram model or influencer. Which means she gets sponsored by Fashion Nova. And if you know what Fashion Nova is, it's basically a clothing brand that exists more for a curvaceous, more voluptuous, shapely looking women. And um, she posts lots of revealing photos on her Instagram like, on a pretty regular basis. Which would be risque for a 15 year old, but if she is 13, which I'm pretty sure she is for lots of reasons that are kind of outside of the... I don't know, mountain of evidence that's given to us. Um, it's just, it's not a really good look. It's not a good look for anybody. Now, of course, the one thing that kind of really got to me a lot was this one video I, I saw Danielle upload a little bit of, a little bit of go. And it was um, trying out clothes for strangers, right? Where basically, I'm pretty sure this was all staged. Which, I mean, it really doesn't make the video look any better if it is staged. But... I'm pretty sure it's all staged, because most of this content is. Um, but basically, what the premise of the video was, was she brought in two guys off of the street, and she would put on clothes for them, and they would judge them on a scale of 1 to 10. Her attire, of course, coming from Fashion Nova, meant that it was ridiculously revealing, showing off all of her curves and whatnot. So I watched her video, and I was remarkably uncomfortable. Mostly because there was a certain point where I realized it, and this is how no one's going to look good out of this, but there's a certain point where I stopped and I thought, you know, if this girl actually is 13, this is probably one of the worst baits I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Like, that that bait, I mean, here's the thing. First of all, like, the, the mere premise itself, like, even if the girl was 15, like, the premise of, like, bringing strangers to your house to show off clothes for them especially factoring the fact that she had a boyfriend, like, in and of itself, it's just off. Like, it's it's just fucking weird YouTube bait, okay? Like, it's it's really off, no matter how you slice it. Like, like, there's no honor or integrity in that act. But it gets really fucking off or really, really, like, poor or strange when you factor in, like, that's a 13-year-old girl. And it is one of the craziest jail baits I've ever seen in my fucking life because if these guys didn't know that she was 13 and they're judging her clothes, then it's like, meh. And if they knew she was 13 and they're judging her, then it's really like, you know? But then, see, that's the thing. And this is a conversation that I think really needs to be had. But no one wants to have it because it's very uncomfortable. And that honest conversation is, some girls look like adult women. Straight up. I'm just going to say it. And considering the fact that we men cannot read minds, we can't really distinguish between some of these girls. Now, some girls obviously look their age. They obviously look like they're kids or just shy of 12 years old or 13. 
But some of them look really mature for their age, and sometimes it's damn near indistinguishable. In fact, let's just use the video clips Danielle provided for us. If I were to block out her face or block out her head and just show you her body, like how old would you legitimately put that girl at? And let's be real. I'm going to be real with you guys. If I was just looking at her body straight up and I just saw her walking down the street and I didn't see her face, I would probably put her at a strong 15, 16. She, she, she's a strong 15 or 16 in some of those outfits. And other outfits that she put on, I'm straight up saying that that girl's got to be about 22. Like in some of them, I'm straight up giving her like she's got to be in like in her early 20s or like late teens. I'm putting that her around that area. If you were to just look at the clothes she was wearing, not only because of her the way her body matured into making her look like she's an adult, but also the clothing brand in general is from Fashion Nova, and most of the people who model those clothes off are not teenagers they're adult women so then you have to add that context in there as well in fact if you add in the context of the type of clothing a lot of adult women wear that some of these teenage girls are putting on it becomes even more confusing because now you, you can't even distinguish between like what is adult attire for women and what is teenager children attire for women so the whole point that I'm trying to make here is the fact that one this bait is ridiculously fucked up like this is I mean there's jail bait right and then there's gel bait that has ascended past gel bait. But this shit, it's like this is to go even further beyond degrees of gel bait. But I think what's even more... What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I don't go with strange, but I think dangerous, especially for some of these young ladies, and even the men involved as well, it's kind of dangerous for everyone, is the fact that a lot of the time, it is really hard to distinguish between adult women and teenage girls. And here's the thing, I'm not over here trying to besmirch some girls for maturing faster or maturing to this degree because it's not their fault. Like, they didn't ask to become voluptuous, like, they didn't ask to mature faster than, excuse me, their peers. It, it's, it's not their fault. I'm not, I'm not knocking them for that. I'm not blaming them for, you know, looking a particular way or their body shaped a particular way. But I am knocking them for the clothes that they chose to wear, and I am knocking their fucking mom or their dad for not telling them to put some fucking different clothes on. Like, I mean, come on, dude. Like, okay, I get it, you know. If you mature faster than your peers, as I said before, it's not your fault. I'm not knocking you for that. But there has to be, I don't know, some degree of common sense, especially when you go into polite society, that if you are portraying yourself in a particular way, people are going to think, I don't know, a particular thing. And if you look like an adult woman, and I've seen lots of different posts on the internet, like I've seen lots of feminists say, I've been getting cat called since I was 13. And then you look at the shit that Danielle Cohn put on, and then you're just like, Eh? Like, like you can't, like, you don't really think catcalling is good, but then it's like, I mean, eh? Like, if you put that on, you look like an adult woman. It's like, no one, they don't, like, they don't know. They don't, and it's not right. It's not good, because here's the thing. Because to say this is to admit an uncomfortable truth. And that uncomfortable truth is, some men are attracted to 13-year-old girls. Now, a lot of people will be like, oh! believe you just said that but again let's be real if we saw danielle on the street could we put her at 13 yes yes we could and now you you could based on her face you couldn't do it based on her body now she looks and sounds like a kid like like when you look at her face um one it's very round um it's very small it's it's very short um children also have really big eyes really chubby cheeks so she has all of her childlike features, and hell, even when women get older slightly, they still retain high amounts of um, neoteny. I think that's how you pronounce that word. Lots of women do still retain lots of their childlike features as they get older, um, but you could still distinguish pretty easily, you know, the older women from the younger women, or at least that's kind of how it used to be, except when young ladies start wearing makeup. Now you really can't distinguish anymore because now they're purposefully trying to make themselves look older than what they actually are so here's the thing i'm not really making this video to like say this is like anybody's fault because it's not 
okay, well, no, it is some people's fault. And I think it's your parents' fault. I really do. Like, I'm not knocking teenage girls for, like, wanting to show off their bodies because, like, they want attention. Like, I mean, I know. Like, they, they want male attention. Like, I get it. Especially if they didn't have a father in their life. Like, I get it. But at the same time, it's like, you know, there should be some degree of guidance or some degree of wisdom for them for them to realize, you know, like, you know, you're attracting a degree of attention that you can't really control. And I've noticed some girls complain quite a bit at the fact that older gentlemen like to holler at them on the street. And then I'm just like, well, you look like an adult, so I don't really know what to tell you other than to stop wearing makeup, wear clothes that fit, and hang out with your girlfriends instead of, you know, doing all this other shit. Like, I remember actually, here's the thing, and it seems like you can't ever really tell a girl, like, to put some clothes on or to, to wear something different, especially as men, you know, especially not in, in any environment because, again, it always is brought up, at, the, 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 the clear defense that's always, like, brought up against men is, like, if you if you notice a girl is dressed in a provocative way, the question is always is, well, well why are you looking? And I always think that it's a dumbass defense, right? Like, it's a dumbass defense to cast shame upon the man because it's like you're not supposed to be checking out these girls and, and analyzing them and, and having these sexual thoughts. And then it's like, well, 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 first of all, pause. Number one, I'm looking because, like, that's how I observe reality, dumbass. Like, I, I'm, I'm supposed to just fucking become blind because a teenage girl walked in with a short skirt. I'm just supposed to, oh, well, sorry. <laughs> Let me just stop. Like, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? Like... Like let's be re let's be reasonable here. Does it make more sense to tell men that they should like not observe reality, or does it make more sense to tell young ladies that hey, you should dress a particular way in a particular environment if you want a particular reaction, right? You know what I mean? Like I just don't. It's just fucking stupid. Like like I no man asked to be heterosexual, right? Like you, you ever notice that with like homosexuals, right? But like with gay people. You know, it's, it's always, we didn't ask to be gay, we, we, we're born this way, right? And, and all their homosexual bullshit is totally fine, right? But if we have this problem, this legitimate problem, which we just saw with Danielle, of young girls looking like adult women, and men are attracted to them and hollering at them or trying to date them or uncomfortable by them, by them in a school environment, which I am very uncomfortable by, by the way. And here's another thing. It, like, if I say that I'm uncomfortable by the fact that, like, some of these girls dress in a particular manner, like, there's something wrong with me. And I just find that shit to be absurd. You know, because, like, I'm, I'm a substitute teacher at, at schools, right? In fact, I'll give you a good example of this dumb shit. Like, like the girls challenge the dress code in, in such a fucking stupid way. I just, I question their intelligence all the time. There's this short story <laughs> I was just thinking about I saw last week where um, one girl, she came into the classroom and um, she asked for the jacket from one of her friends because she was out of dress code, right? And so she grabs the jacket and she leaps. So she's just off in Wonderland doing her thing. So the other girl who gave her friend the jacket is sitting there and she's like, oh man, I gotta go to the clinic for something, right? But she's out of dress code too now. So she asks one of the girls in the classroom, she says, hey, can I borrow your jacket so I can run to the clinic? And the girl over there says, no, I can't, because if I give you my jacket, then I'm out of dress code. And I just sat there like, hey, dumbasses, did it ever occur to you that maybe you should just wear a fucking shirt so this problem doesn't occur? So, like, I, the responsibility, I honestly have to say, does lie on some of these women and on their parents, too, for not checking their clothes when they walk out the fucking house. But... I just find it very strange that if I say that this makes me uncomfortable, like, as an adult male looking at these teenage girls, like, in their state of undress half the time, and I do legitimately mean in their state of undress, like, I've legitimately seen some girls walk in with short skirts, that when they sit down, it rides up, and you can find that they don't have any undergarments on. Let's just put it that way, right? I've, I've seen that shit before. I've seen it way too many times. It, it's, it's too much. If I say that that makes me uncomfortable, well, then there's some fucking shit wrong with me. But, like, no one wants to acknowledge that, like, these ladies, th these girls shouldn't be dressing in this particular manner. Okay, so this video started off with me talking about Danielle Cohen and ended up with me ranting about the fact that some of these girls make me very uncomfortable. And there's really nothing I can do about that because I'm heterosexual and I'm, I, I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I'm just not going to become gay, I'm sorry. And I know a lot of people look at this subject matter and automatically claim that any man that admits that he's attracted to a 13-year-old girl that looks like a woman is some degree of pedophilia. Well, newsflash, it's not how that word works. Pedophilia is an attraction to prepubescent children. And if you're attracted to a girl that looks like an adult woman, well, you're attracted to an adult woman that just so happens to be a girl. Which changes the entire conversation, or at least it should, but no one wants to acknowledge the fact that those are not the same fucking things.
Like people want to protect women to such an unnatural degree, but no one wants to accept the fact that these girls are having a hand in portraying themselves as being older than what they actually are. Now, some of them don't. Like some of them, again, like for example, there's this one girl. And this is just how crazy this shit is to me sometimes, right? This is just one girl, right? This, this happened like last year. And uh, this first day I was in the class, right? And she came in late. And I thought that she was, uh, I thought that she was like a teacher or something, right? So she comes in and I say, hey, how can I, I help you, ma'am? And she goes, I'm a student. This is my class. And I was just like, well, well, fuck. I, huh, well, okay. It just blew my fucking mind. Like this girl, like she had like super wide curvaceous hips. Okay. Like she was very voluptuous young lady. And I, and, and see, like if I describe it, just like, if I just describe it, it sounds fucked up, right? Because she's a student. Like, you can't say that shit. But again, like, I didn't make her look like that. And I didn't ask to be a man. Like, I, that's just, I'm just repeating observable reality. But the conversation is just uncomfortable just on, on the face of it. And the problem is, or what I think should be the problem, I think I am particularly talking about a specific environment. Like, in a school environment, I don't think girls should be dressing in a provocative manner because it serves no purpose or function to their learning but also it just makes adult men very uncomfortable but when we're uncomfortable it doesn't fucking matter it means we need to stop being attracted to women like like we did something wrong like or or like we can you know but even then more to the point which is, is stranger still to me is the fact that like no one wants to acknowledge that maybe they should look differently and again i like i said this started off with me talking about daniel Cohn being a 13 year old girl on the internet but it's like like, not only is her jail baiting, like, some next generation levels of some old bullshit, but also, it, I think the problem is a little bit more than just Danielle. Like, Danielle is, like, off in Hollywood or wherever, you know, getting lots of money being sponsored by Fashion Nova when she really shouldn't, being a 13-year-old girl. But you still have girls who are, like, you know, 15, 16, 17, who are trying to portray themselves in a manner, excuse me, that is just way above what their actual age range is, or they're dressing in a way or a very provocative manner when they really should not be, especially going into particular environments and especially being their age. So basically, what I'm saying is, like, Danielle Cohn is cert certainly, like, a problem. You know, being 13 and baiting people on the internet is some old fucking bullshit. But I think the problem does go a little bit past her, and it does affect lots of teenage girls, and I've seen it a lot more than I probably should be seeing it. So I guess at the end of the day, here's my point, and this is more of a video to the parents of like teenage girls. Can you tell them to put some fucking clothes on? Because that shit makes me very uncomfortable. So that being said, man, I actually hope you guys got something out of today's video. You probably didn't, but if you did, man, go ahead and click the like button. And shoot, go and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. As always, you guys have yourselves a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adiós.